Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. We're using this place, Ketsi of La Beach Hotel. This morning, I'll, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the uh, words, Teacher Donkey. Teacher Donkey. And uh, let, let me just say it in our listener, uh, in, 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 with our local slant, you know, uh, in, in our lingo, it was a Teacher Donkey. <laughs> that is, d Donkey the Teacher. In Numbers chapter 22 and to Numbers chapter 24, a fine story uh, unfolds over there. A fine story begins to weave over there. And the story of a man of God, I mean a prophet, and his name was Balaam. And in those days, when God's voice was not being heard by people, Balaam had access to accuracy that defies logic. He was not an Israelite, but yet his prophetic utterances were so accurate, and they were so powerfully accurate, that you begin to wonder. And the, and the Bible wrote it that they, though he was a Gentile, you know, the Bible said he had prophetic insight and he had prophetic accuracy. That whatever Balaam says come to pass. Man, that for me was very powerful. Now here comes our principle. Here comes our principle. Here comes our principle. Balaam wanted to go curse the people of Israel and God told him don't do it the first time but then Balaam, Balaam was offered more money more this thing and then he decided to look let me up the ante you know for for uh, God and you know the God so finally God said okay you go and the Bible said as he was going against the perfect will of God as he was going I was riding his donkey an angel of God stood in the middle of the road and it was a narrow path with walls here walls there and an angel of God stood in the middle and had a sword drawn. That is a sign of a, 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 an adversarial intent. It, it, this is a sign of adversity. I am against you. If you approach me, I will wipe your blood on my sword with, with, on your apron. I'm going to decapitate you. I'm going to slash you. So th there was an angel standing in a threatening posture. Now here's the interesting thing. Balaam the man of God, Balaam the prophet of God, didn't see the angel. Oh wow, he didn't see it. He's a prophet, so he has revelation. He does the, his ears are open, his eyes are open, his mouth is open. So he had revelation, but he didn't see. He had revelation, but he didn't hear. He had revelation, that, but he couldn't recognize. He couldn't even have an insight of the danger that was ahead, the clear and present danger that was ahead of him. It was the donkey that saw it. And now to my chagrin, now to my biggest surprise, now to, to, to my uttermost shock. Balaam is beating up the donkey to go and the donkey refuses to go. He said, I see danger and the donkey refused to go. And Balaam is beating the donkey, beating the donkey until finally the donkey opened its mouth and told us, Balaam, all these years, have I ever disobeyed you? Oh, wait a minute. Balaam began to talk to the donkey. No, you, you have not disobeyed me. A donkey talking to a man of God and Balaam is engaged in conversation with the donkey and the donkey is saying, there's an angel out there. If I had gone further, he would have killed you. So I'm saving your life. And Balaam continues conversation with the donkey. Balaam fails to recognize that something phenomenal was happening. A donkey was talking the language of humanity. An animal was talking the language of humanity. And the man of God could clearly hear the angel, uh, the, the donkey, even though he couldn't see the angel. And he engaged. A donkey was teaching a man of God what to do right. Sometimes God uses certain things around us to teach us those of us who know too much. He uses certain things. I hope God doesn't have to use the mosquito to come and land on your shoulder, bite your nose. Talk, 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 talk. Listen to God. Listen to God. I hope it doesn't happen that way. But sometimes pay attention to the things that are unusual. Sometimes the things that are unusual, in your moment of restriction, in your moment of, 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 of constriction, in your moment of resistance, 
when something is not pulling, something is not going according to your way. Sometimes, pay attention to the supernatural. Pay attention to the things that are out of the ordinary. Pay attention to the abnormal. There could be a message in the abnormal. There could be a message in the extraordinary. There could be a message in the supernatural. There could be a message that will save your life. Don't go look for a teacher donkey. And I think it would be better if you pay attention to God than to get to that place where a donkey has to instruct you, even though you are a man of God. Listen to the voice of God before donkeys begin to educate you. Choice is yours. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.